I think one of the hardest bits of Redox is getting the terminology correct. So we're going to start by looking at um, an oxidant. So if substances gain electrons easily, that means that they cause oxidation, and that's the loss of electrons. So something that um, gains electrons is reduced, but it causes oxidation. So because it's causing oxidation, it's called an oxidant, which is a portmanteau of uh, oxidizing agent. So an oxidant gains electrons easily and causes oxidation, but it itself is reduced. So a substance that causes oxidation is easily reduced. Conversely, something that is easily oxidized loses its electrons easily. So because it's losing electrons easily, it causes reduction. So by losing electrons, it causes reduction because remember, reduction is the gain of electrons. So a reductant, which again is a portmanteau of reducing agent, a reductant loses its electrons easily. It causes reduction, but it itself is oxidized. So if something causes reduction, it is being oxidized. Let's look at an example down here. Down here we've got iron being oxidized to iron two ions, and we have copper two ions being reduced to solid copper. So iron is being oxidized. It is losing two electrons to become iron two plus, so iron two plus iron. The copper ions are gaining two electrons here to become solid copper. So the copper ions are being reduced to copper. So therefore, because the iron is being oxidized to iron ions, it is causing the reduction by losing its electrons that are gained by the copper, it is losing its electrons and therefore the copper is being reduced. So it is a reducing agent because it is causing the reduction of the copper ions. So iron is a reductant. The copper ions are gaining electrons, they are being reduced, and because they are being reduced, they are gaining the electrons that are given off from the iron, so because they are being reduced, they're causing the oxidation of the iron. So the copper ions are an oxidant because they're causing the oxidation of the iron to the iron ions.